You know it. You hear the soundtrack, or you remember at the very least the Tournament of Power when you hear the soundtrack. But what you also should hear by now is the intro to the Dragon Ball Z CPU Tournament. This one is a special one, or the start of a special series in which you're not fighting by yourself anymore. You're fighting with someone in hopes that with the cooperation of the CPUs, you reach to the very top of the leaderboard and you get the fine victory. Same rewards, VIP in chat, or if you've already got VIP, a sweet 500 coins. Now, there still will be 16 contestants because I don't think we can increase those numbers to a drastic double, which means there'll be a little bit less fights, but it will still be as epic. But let's start off by finding our 16 contestants as per usual. Two hours later. We have now calculated the tournament brackets. After a long process, we have gotten our teams. The bracket has been sorted and randomized. Let's see what the quarterfinals, the first round has to offer for us. We've got team number five, which is Saberman versus Gogeta. Uh, Saberman and Gogeta versus Super Saiyan Trunks and Gotenks. Here we go. The first match finally on its way with a, enough preparation. No ring outs. There are no ring outs. Huh? Oh, he's like a Super Saiyan 2. I thought he said he's like Super Saiyan 2. Remember, even one member can just solo dolo both people. So it doesn't even matter, maybe. Saber Man gets the kill here. Doesn't get the kill. Trunks is... I mean, he should have killed Saber Man by now. Oh, there we go. Oh, the switch out! Oh, the big man Gogeta. Fat counters. Oh! Slam dunk. Oh, we all knew Gogeta was winning that. You know what? Gogeta might be strong enough to just solo both of these. Both units. Both team members. Oh, yeah. Those... Oh, what a combo! That is huge! That is huge! He's not mucking around! Winner's POV! Oh, that's it. That's it. No key? Yep. First team member down. But don't worry. Don't worry. It's the battle of the fusions now. So it's a 1v2 situation. But Gogeta, he's putting the pressure. What is happening with Gotenks? Gotenks has no answers. The carry. The carry. <gasps> this is it. Oh, he blocked it. He blocked it. He point blank blocked it. Oh, if he hit... Nah, he, he ain't a sniper. He ain't a sniper. All Gotenks needs to do is beat Gogeta. And you probably have a 95% chance of winning. Oh! Broken sh... Ooh! He's only got a little bit of HP. Uh-oh. This is bad. Oh! That's it! That's it! Oh, wait. He had one more bar. I didn't see that. <laughs> I thought that was it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's... Ch oh, he needs to dodge this. Oh! What a dodge! Oh, and he's got a counter! Oh, what a counter! What an insane counter! This is it! A one bar Saberman versus a half a bar Gotenks. Oh, he's pulled up an after image, but it's wasted on the key blast. Why is it so epic? Why is the first one? Oh my god! He Saberman was baiting! You see that? He was baiting. He was like, go on, attack me, attack me. I got the counters, I got the counters. It's only like one combo, one combo from each side, dude. What the Die Die Missile Mirage is insane! You can't miss one of those. He can only block it. Oh my god. After image. After image is going to save his butt. 
But they don't attack! They don't attack! KO! <laughs> Too strong, man. He struggled. He struggled on the Saber Bank kill. Holy crap, dude. What a match. Super Saiyan 3 Brawling Cooler versus Hachiak and Margin Vegeta. Let's get into the second match of the day. Big boys started it off. It's the clash of the big boys. The one that's not a big boy is Marja Vegeta. Oh, we've got the Raging Soul, and that's a back... Oh, no! Omega Blaster! Oh, unfortunately, it was blocked. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that. Oh, what a what a recovery. Fast, insane recovery. Omega Blaster again. Oh, the CPU bots are good. And he hits. He's a sniper. Full power energy wave, the first from Hatchyak, and now it's tied up even. Kakarot ability gets cancelled. Brawly in a sticky situation decides to switch. Hatchyak, will he be able to do something about it? That is a free hit. Oh, Hatchyak needs to switch out. Ah, oh, man, Cooler's aura is insane. Cooler's aura is insane. What the frick? He is one key blast away, essentially. Death Flash, he's gonna dodge this. Oh, he does! Oh my god. These bots put me put me in a, such a situation that, like, I'm scared. Like, how is he living this much? Cooler, do something. Oh! Oh my god! He's... There it is. <laughs> there it is. But he did do one and a half bars. All Vegeta needs to do here. Take out Cooler. Leaves him on with a one bar Super Saiyan 3. Brawly. It's a gentleman's charge up. And Margin Vegeta decides to do the Raging Soul. Cooler does not. Maybe a Supernova? Psychonesis would have been a perfect situation to do a Supernova right there, but he decides not to. And instead goes for a Death Flash by going up into the sky, getting that higher angle. Psychokinesis again gets in that free grab that leads into a little combo. And just like that, he. Cooler has evened it up, and even better yet, has taken the advantage for his team. Big Bang is throwing, it's a death flash, it's a clash! A ball does not beat a beam! Will you never learn? It is so e Do you not understand? If it comes from the hand, and it's continuous, it will always continue to grow. If you throw the Big Bang, what else do you do? You don't put more power into that. Because it's not connected to your hand anymore. Very unfortunate, but we know that the bot likes to use key beams. And he's awakening. Melee power up. He dodges. All of a sudden, he's awakening. Explosive wave. Could we have another round one situation once again? Where it's just super close. Out of nowhere, Margin Vegeta, of course, with the Awakening, had become insane. He's Zenkai boost, maybe. He's low HP. Berserker Link? And here it is, the Awakening again. But he's letting Cooler charge. Oh, this is bad. Taking the grab. He's left on one life. That's a combo. That is a solid combo grab to a... That is kind of OP, don't you think? Raging Blast with so little HP. This is not looking good. This is not looking good for Vegeta. But hey. He can do something about this. One hit away from victory, Cooler is. Cooler needs one hit. Margin Vegeta counters. Is this enough? He does get the successful hit. He needs to keep going. The Furies run him out of key. If he comes back, five gifted subs. If he wins this battle, if he wins this whole game, Majin Vegeta, it is five gifted subs to chat. He takes out Cooler. It is one bar Brawly. That's it. One big... Oh, he throws a big bang. It's Omega Blaster. Who's gonna... He gets the hit. It's a one hit from each side. No way. No way. It's one hit. Oh! Oh! It was... He did it with one HP! He did it with one HP, Jet! <laughs> what the fuck? What the freak? Team Revenge.
Orange, congratulations! Oh my god. What the frick? These two matches already. I'm out of breath. I can't believe it. He was a one bar for so long. He needed cooler, needed one hit. One key plus, one spam. All right, our next battle we have Janemba and Turles. And we have Frieza and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. All right, let's begin the match. First up, we have Janemba and Frieza, the demons. The devils. Oh, no rising souls. I like this. He tried for a mystic breath. I like when they save it. Oh, yeah. Are we going to see a, a key finisher? Oh, there's the key finisher. <laughs> Didn't do much. Oh, you might die this time. Uh, lag? <laughs> oh, nice sound effects, Freezer. <laughs> Oh, super breath cannon, and that is a snipe. That is a real snipe. Cheeky Freeza doing the smoke goes for the death beam, but Janemba saw right through that one. So far, so even. Oh, but Janemba this time decides to go Raging Soul, putting pressure onto Freeza. He goes for you might die this time, which is an unblockable move. High tension's disappearing. There it is. The classic, the classic Frieza. Ah, uh, he's cheesing it. He will cheese any fight he can. Oh, Janemba throws out Super Breath Cannon. It has been, it got contact, but it was blocked. And then Frieza missed his little cheeky zone. Oh, and that's it. Is that it? Yep. Janemba down, but Frieza on one bar remaining. Turles is in! One of my favorite movie villains. Unfortunately, in this game, he's not as cool as in Xenoverse 2. He has only done that move and one death beam. He's like, this has worked so well. They can't dodge it. <laughs> Can I have a kill driver? One kill driver. Turles, one kill driver. Kill driver! This is it! It actually lands and it kills Rizzo! All right. Now, we have seen the Saiyans happen. <laughs> to verse a Super Saiyan 3 Goku and, to, and win this would be a miracle. But unfortunately, the team is just too stacked. And just like that, with a pretty clean sweep, Rivals does take the W. This is our fi final match for round one. Ultimate Gohan and Bardock versus Piccolo and Vegito. If we're talking about late Dragon Ball Z, definitely Team Brainiacs in terms of timelines for Piccolo and Bardock. It is student versus mentor to start off the game. This will be very interesting to see. Now, as we know, this is a no-brainer. Gohan all the way. Look at him go. It's almost like I'm controlling him just by how good it is. Oh, but no. Piccolo snaps back. An ultimate move? We haven't seen an ultimate move yet. It's one of the best. It's the coolest. Oh, and nothing. Almost like a waste on high tension. Oh my god. When's this gonna end? Piccolo gets the victory there. I love that. I love that recovery animation right there. The stun. I love that stun. I always used it. I don't know why, but I loved using Piccolo in this game. I've always loved uh, Light Grenade as a move as well. Piccolo on his last bar left. He could switch out right now. Get the big boy Vegito in. And he does. All right. It is Super Vegito. The strongest character in Dragon Ball Z versus Ultimate Gohan. The strongest individual in Dragon Ball Z. If Gohan can chip out some damage against Vegito, most importantly. Oh, the after image strike. It's too much. Super Kamehameha! Point blank! Gohan's on his last legs. And that's it. A fat kick into the face. Bardock left. He needs everything. Super Kamehameha with a full energy wave. 
Oh, who's going to win this key struggle? It is Bardock, which indicates that his CPU is godly. I will say that much. You can tell when a CPU is better than the other CPU if they win in any mashouts. So we should be able to see a pretty good game, hopefully. Or maybe it's the commentator's curse. Super Combo Miha hits. Oh, and just like that, Vegito's evened it out and has already taken out a character. This is real bad. But Piccolo's on one bar, so all he needs to... Ooh, that hits. It didn't do much, but it hit anyway. Where's the Rebellion Spear? Oh, he cancels the Beam Sword Slash by grabbing. I told you this bot is insane. Any Rebellion Spears? One bar for Vegito left. It's plenty. Beam Sword Slash. And that connects. That is damage, of course. Alright. So we're looking at two bars versus one and a half bars. One bar for Vegito, one bar for Piccolo. Saiyan Spirit. Key consumption reduced. He has no armor, which means he's cool. But he takes another Sword Slash. It's not going to kill. Don't worry, Bardock fans. It's not going to kill. But it does leave him in a sticky situation. Full energy wave. He banks it for the snipe. Does not get it. We're going to have a mash out. A battle out. And like I said, Bardock's just a superior CPU here. But he wastes all his key. Final Kamehameha. That is a high tension. Sh but he's, his angle is too high. We wanted to see a cool move. We did see it, but it didn't even connect. There's Bardock. Ooh, an evasive key blast move, but I think that is it. No, I was wrong. Hey, we've seen we've seen the comebacks of comebacks. Wild Sense decides to go for the dodge. The guaranteed dodge. There it is. Wasted on a key blast. That's it. Vegito takes out Bardock and Ultimate Gohan. Meaning Bloodlines does not move forward and Brainiacs continues. What I say, it's all about the brains. In the semifinals, we have Team Hybrid versus Team Revenge. And in the second match, we have Team Rivals versus Team Brainiacs. This is going to be a very fun and interesting match. Let's get into the first semifinal match. All right, Hatchiak beating up the Saiyans. Yo, Trunks, you awake up there? Boom! Yo, he's only taking some little bit of damage. And Hatchiak, one whole bar. Will there be a 32 CPU tournament? No, because we don't have 32 consistent viewers. Cannot guarantee. Burning attack is thrown out. Hatchiak takes the meat of it. And Trunks, now he's ready. He's burning with spirits. One bar remaining on Trunks. Oh, what a dodge. That's big. For somebody that was that is really bad in Dokkan, he's doing really good in this game. Oh, wait a second. Commentator's curse. It always happens. The infinite combo loop. Boom. And he's evened it up. And he's still following up with combos. And he has a super bar. Decides not to use it. Oh, he's going to cheese it. He's cheesing the win. Throws the key blast. Full energy wave. He can't dodge this. Oh, and the biggest choke from Trunks ever. In such a lead, he just tried to go for the key blast win. But it's Gotenks' turn. And all he has to do is he get one hit on Hatchiak. Full energy wave. I believe this will hit. Yep. Do I have to remind you that... After Hatchet is Marge of Vegeta, which is no... He, he, does no, he doesn't do any funny business. He's there to win. Oh, there it is. Hatchet knocked out. The only advantage Gotenks has here is he has a full bar of key, which could lead to a bar of damage. Hmm. Interesting choice in moves, Gotenks. But, hey, it's gotten you into a positive advantage. Big tree cannon. Oh, Vegeta, he didn't want to block it, and he's decided to dodge it, but he couldn't in time. Meaning, this is the most even game we've had so far. Big Bang Attack, that is blocked by Gotenks. Margin's Awakening, we've seen this move come into play 
Not only does it boost up his attack, but it somehow boosts up his CPU. Marge's Awakening times two. It's a secret ability that stacks even when the icons have disappeared. And high tension, but he goes for Raging Soul. Will this be worth it? Will this be enough damage output for him to be worth it? Big Bang, that's comboing. That is comboing. Half a bar versus two whole bars. This is bad. Raging Soul may, may have not been the best choice. But never mind. He's got something. Nope. Look at the damage. It's stacking. What is that? Why are you vanishing in the same spot? Go tanks on the lowest amount of HP. And he's going to be no key now. He has nothing. He needs to get these damage to get the key. Oh! Oh! Oh, and that is it! Marja Vegeta did a cheap version of his, his suicidal attack. <laughs> and Revenge moves into the finals. All right, we've got the last semi-finals match. We've got team rivals Frieza and Goku versus Brainiacs, Piccolo and Vegito. Frieza versus Piccolo. Piccolo wants to win it for the Namekians. We've got Spammer Freezer. Will he be back? Will the CPU be back? He looks like he's an evasive guy. I feel like we're gonna see some spam. Oh, there it is. There it is. Classic Freezer. Classic Freezer. Special Beam. You can't block these. Oh, but you can dodge them. That's for sure. That's no rule number one. Only can dodge it. Oh, and he dodged that! No counters, though. Boom! What a dash attack. Oh, Death Beam! Death Beam, point blank. That should have killed him right there. And Frieza with a whole bar lead. But Frieza, high tension. I think it's more valuable. He's wasting all of his key anyway. On oh! Oh! He hits the ulti! This is our first hit on the ulti, and that's going to kill Piccolo! Wait! Never mind! He living! He's spirit! He's still living! Paralyzed Beam! Grabs! He needs to do all the damage he can, or switch out, but I don't even think the switch out is even worth it. He's running, he's running. He's going evasive. Oh! The key plus don't even kill him! But it's just a, it's just a normal hit, enough. Hey man, it is Vegito. This should be an easy clap. But this bot, yo, who, oh, look at him. He's stunned, he's stunned. He's like, how did you dodge it? Vegito, he dodges everything. It's almost like the spirit of candy. But don't worry, Team Rivals has Super Saiyan 3 Goku still. After image strike, is that gonna dodge? It does. Oh, a transformation, full power. He went for the full power. Damage has increased. Freezer's job as the team leader right here is to do an Super Kamehameha. He knows. He knows to dodge. Nova Strike. Boom. You can block those. It's not a special beam cannon. You can block those. Big shake of the hand. Freezer. One bar down. That's already good enough. And there it is. Freezer finally down for the count. He did good enough. I would say he did good enough. Now it's a three bar versus a two bar. Super Kamehameha's. He hits it. He hits it. Insane shots from Super Saiyan 3 Goku getting him an even bigger lead. High tension. Super Kamehameha. Oh, the dodge. Can he dodge the suit? Oh, and it's a fire back from Goku and it actually hits him. It's actually still very fairly close. It's still fairly close. It's only one super difference right now. I don't know what happened to Vegito, but he has slowed down. Piccolo didn't give him enough time to charge up energy. Raging Soul. Double Raging Soul. There's the counter. We're going to see a lot of teleports, guys. Yep. How far is this going to go? <laughs> Ah, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is the last one to choke that one. <laughs> and it's a win for Super Saiyan 3 Goku! The main character. 
moves on to the finals. This was the dream matchup we actually wanted to see. And now we're in the grand finals, guys, where we should see Margin Vegeta versus Super Saiyan 3 Goku. It's always back to those two. It's always back to those two. Here we go. Best two out of three. First match. The winner of this match will have a great advantage. Oh, we are on the perspective of the big boy. Look at the size difference. They both go to high tension. Freezer decides to go on Raging Soul. Both go to Raging Soul. Is this the same CPU that we saw in the previous rounds with Freezer? Because no the normal Freezer would never go to Raging Soul. I'm telling you. But look at him. He is doing... He's racking up the damage. One bar. And he's continuing. He's even got the continuation combo. Crazy. Crazy that Hat Chick's on his last bar now. Freezer hasn't stopped. What an insane, insane Raging Soul to take him out. That's the first time I've ever seen Raging Soul kill a man. And Margin Vegeta left with a 2v1. Oh, I was hoping, I was going to be like, wait, no, you can't do your ultimate here. You can't do your ultimate here, man. If you do your ultimate here, it's all over. You have to just spam the Big Bang attacks. And here it is. Freezer's iconic, iconic rush attack. Death Beam, that's going to hit, but it's not going to do max damage because he was already on the floor. Freezer had barely appears on these CPU tournaments. And the first, I, I don't remember if he's appeared beforehand, but he has definitely showed us that you should never sleep on Freezer. Raging Soul, are we going to see craziness once again? Is this going to be a clean sweep? Here it is. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's continuing. Big Bang attack, point blank, that's going to hit. Actually, if Vegeta can do that once again, he might have a huge chance. He gets... The his bot is better masher. One bar for Freezer. He wants to verse Kakara. Oh, this could be enough of a combo. Oh, one hit. That's it. Okay, we have a match. I thought this was going to be a quick, easy done and done for Freezer. But, um, okay, cool. Good start of the match. Marja Vegeta wasting a little bit of his Raging Soul. But he got a little bit of a damage. He's only one and a half bars away. It's not that far. That's one big bang. It's one super. Gets the grab. Huge. Giving him time to charge up. Throws a big bang. That's going to hit. And just like that, he's evened it up. He's evened it up. And he's still got bar to spend. He could combo right here. He has plenty of key to combo. Goku armors through that. Classic Vegeta. Will Vegeta finally be number one this time? He dodges the Kamamiha. Every time Vegeta and Goku have fought, Goku has always won. Not just in the show, but also in the CPU tournament. Will this be the time he gets a one-up advantage on him? It's so close. He's got so much key. He can throw at anything right now and be cool. Okay. It's getting a little bit sweaty for Margin Vegeta. He was looking pretty good at the start. Uh, but his bot's not responding anymore. Meteor impact. That is going to be a little bit of damage. And he's going to continue that rush. Here he goes. This is probably and most likely be the final charge up they'll have. Raging Soul he decides to go on. And it's a double Raging Soul. It's a double Raging Soul. What is going to happen? Anything can happen. Look at Vegeta. His damage output is insane. And no! As of hard work he put in to take out Freezer. Goku was just too superior. That's round one. That is round one. 
for Goku and Frieza. We're going to switch sides. We're going to look at the perspective of Frieza this time. Will it be anything like last round? Oh, ho, ho, no, it's not. Hatchek with the first hit. Hatchek did get destroyed last round. Oh, it's a spammy Frieza. I know it. I know. I can see spammy Frieza when I... Yep, there it is. I know when the bot has spammy Frieza. Oh, he's throwing it back again. Oh, no. And he got caught in it again. How devastating. He's too big. He's too big of a target. Uh, we've seen Raging Souls go ham. I don't even... I always diss Raging Soul choices. But after seeing Freezer do it... I mean, if you can pull it off, man. I, ha who am I to judge? But if it's going to be like this, you pretty much wasted it. Yep, that's another combo. Oh my god. Marge and Vegeta's back hurts. Oh my gosh. Why are you running? Why are you running? Are you that scared? You don't... You have Raging Soul. You can't charge up. You're, you're, the main purpose of Raging Soul is to go on the aggressive. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, he got like two hits in. It wasn't even worth. I'm not even... I just want a cool match. What are you doing? Oh, no. Rivals. I guess you can say this is the Ghetto Jiren right here, and they are just cleaning. The combination of Frieza and Goku is unmatched. Even Jiren, no chance. And that is it. Death Beam? Just to shove it in his face, he throws a Death Beam. What a way to end a man. Margin Vegeta. He needs to carry like he's never carried before. Dodges the Death Beam. That's a great start from Vegeta. Oh. Uh, the high tension was very laggy there. He, The problem with Vegeta, he can't throw the ultimate. He can't throw the ultimate until the, until the last fighter. Big Bang. That is blocked. Last time he was able to take out Freezing with two bars remaining. If he can do that again, it would be looking good. Oh, we're getting an early switch out. Would it be crazy for final explosion? Oh, he gets that big bang attack combo right now. Marge is awakening. Here it is. This is what he was missing last round. Margin's awakening. Some odd reason CPU's difficulty level becomes extremely strong after Margin's awakening. Look at that. Even with Raging Soul, it's nothing. Oh my god! It's a hidden stat buff! Oh, there's the block. Good counter from Goku. It's one bar for Vegeta. Oh, this is looking very close. Remember, Freezer's still alive with one bar, though. So for the best odds of winning this, he needs to kill Goku before he reaches his last bar. Saiyan Spirit... High tension. He tried for the explosive wave. That could have been huge. Oh, no. He's getting pummeled now. Goku didn't go continue the combo. Oh, he is taking these charged attacks, these armored attacks. And it's pussy Vegeta out once again. He doesn't want to get any closer after he hits like one bar. And he just can't do anything. We've seen Vegeta. One health bar is plenty for him. One health bar is plenty for him. There it is! He's half a bar off for Goku. Oh, he takes the grab! Oh! Cancels out the grab! Oh, no! Oh, that's Goku's attack. Yep. He went super fast. Supersonic speed. But he didn't wreck up that much damage. In a way, it's kind of good. We need a... Oh! This is real bad for Vegeta! Really bad. Oh. Great counter. He needs to continue this. There it is. Break the shoot. Oh, he doesn't do anything. Armors it. Preparing for the next battle. He needs to. Oh. Is that enough? One hit. 
Vegeta needs one hit. Shoot a beam. Will we have match three? Freezer's got pretty much two bars. A final explosion would be insane. Oh, he needs to dodge this. Big bang. Oh, that hits. No. Oh. He combos. No. Vegeta was so close on the clutch. Oh, no. Unfortunate to the people that have voted revenge. Rivals takes the victory. Congratulations. And that means... Hussein... Hussein and him... Him, Nick, 25, are uh, your victor victors. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody that has contributed. We're obviously having another CPU tournament next week. There is only three more. Three more. Wait, three or two more. Next week will be Budokai Tenkaichi 3 tag team once again. But yeah, what an insane tournament. One of my favorites thus far hopefully you guys did enjoy that was fun we do this every single sunday around this time for those that don't know make sure you follow me with notifications on how do i join you come by early on the streams come by as early as possible onto the stream so you can get your name in the raffle